Jeopardy's brand new invitational tournament features a star-studded lineup of legendary contestants, but not everyone fans craved to see was all in. Here are the most surprising omissions from the lineup of 27 greats coming out of the woodwork to compete. Jeopardy has assembled a jam-packed lineup for its first-ever Jeopardy Invitational Tournament, JIT. The JIT premiered on Wednesday, March 20, and unlike other tournaments this season, producers opened the floodgates to iconic older champions and all-time game show greats. The lineup of 27 icons includes Sam Buttry, Amy Schneider, Chuck Forrest of the Forest Bounce and contestants turn chasers like Brandon Blackwell and Victoria Gross. That said, a few of Jeopardy's major stars did not show out for the thrilling mini-event, which determines a slot in May's Jeopardy. Masters Not bringing back Brad Brad Rutter is the highest money winner of all time across any TV game show after walking away with $5.1 million followed by host Ken Jennings with $4.3 million and James Holtzhauer with $2.9 million. He first competed in 2000 before the five-game win cap was lifted and went on to win a slew of tournaments until losing phenomenally in 2020's G.O.A.T against James and Ken. Brad, now a chaser on the trivia show The Chase, hasn't come back since or had any involvement with Jeopardy! Fans were shocked he wasn't included in JIT since many expected this would be his big return, but he decided to turn it down. Show bosses Michael Davies and Sarah Whitcomb Foss revealed that Brad declined JIT on the latest episode of the Inside Jeopardy! podcast. Of course, there were folks who we reached out to who weren't available for a number of different reasons. I want to make sure everyone knows that Brad Rutter, Julia Collins, Roger Craig, and Emma Bircher all did receive invites. And for a variety of reasons, they weren't able to compete with us in this JIT, but we certainly hope we'll be able to welcome them back at a future one. Fans took to social media, where Reddit users predicted that Brad's decision to bow out is a hint he's done with Jeopardy. For good. I don't think we will see Brad again. He seemed embarrassed by the GOAT performance. I hope he does come back, but I don't think we will see him on the Alex Trebek stage again, one fan wrote. Another said, I'll be shocked if we ever see Brad again. He has nothing to gain from entering any of these big mega tournaments, and really just everything to lose. A third lamented, the Rudder era is over. It's time for a new generation of champions. Others pointed out that he could still be the elusive producer's pick for May's Masters but given the statement, it seems unlikely. Empty without Emma James Holtzhauer won 32 games in a monster $2.4 million in 2019, second in regular play earnings just behind now host Ken. Emma Bircher from Georgia, who wrote her thesis on Jeopardy, stunned viewers when she rolled up and beat him, making her a giant killer. James' defeat game was the most well-played in Jeopardy! history as it has the highest so-called group Coriat score in regular play history of $53,200. Emma lost two games later but played so well that she was invited to that year's Tournament of Champions, where she came in second to James. As the bosses shared in their earlier statement, Emma also declined JIT for unknown reasons. Fans were bummed out since if Emma won JIT, she'd go to Masters for a rematch against James. All things considered, as much as it sucks, we still have a stacked list for JIT, one Reddit user wrote. Buzzy Cohen was a fan favorite during the host search after Alex Trebek's tragic death in 2020. The nine-time champion and 2017 Tournament of Champions Victor previously hosted the $250,000 talk in 2021. That said, Buzzy has since taken on a behind-the-scenes role with the game show, co-hosting the Inside Jeopardy! podcast. He also lent a hand to Ken Jennings and guest-hosted some qualifying games for a tournament earlier this season after Mayim Bialik was fired. It's likely that given Buzzy has seen too much behind the curtain, he wasn't allowed to jump in. The prize will be $100,000 and a slot in Masters Season 2, which airs in May on ABC Primetime. There will be nine quarter-final games, three semi-finals, and a best-of-four final. This means that the legendary player who wins two final games wins the title first. The now annual throwdown will decide one of the six spots in Masters, with the first three going to last season's finalists, Matt Amadio, winner James, 
and Matea Roach. The other Masters slots go to Yogesh Rout for winning the 2024 Tournament of Champions and a still unannounced producer's pick. After JIT, regular episodes will finally resume for the first time this season.